Only on Christ 17 TV. Back at you with another one. Oh yeah, baby, right upside your head. New York City, we at it again, baby, we at it again. You know, the BX. They beating up police in the BX left and right, left and right, left and right. And I'm not talking about with the left, with the right, just left and right. Check this out, though. They beat the police up because he asked them to quit smoking weed on the platform. Man, leave them boys alone smoking weed, man. They ain't bugging nobody, but check this out. This is... This is the crazy part. This is the crazy part. You would think when you beat the police up, you're going to be in some serious, serious, serious shit. Nope. They let them go with no bail. Oh, all right, get out of here. Just another day in New York, baby. Crime is sky high. This is Gotham City. You don't go to jail in Gotham City, baby. Yet another summer Batman. attack on an NYPD officer. This disturbing video shows the incident happening in broad daylight. Yeah, this comes just days after another incident happened, and it left an officer bruised and bloodied. Fox News Linda Smith talked to the president of the NYPD's largest union about this violent trend. Police unions have had enough of these videos. People assaulting New York City police officers. Criminals right now feel like they're just going to get a slap on the wrist and be back on the streets of the city of New York. The latest example is three suspects who police say beat an officer after he asked them to stop smoking at a subway station in the Bronx. Prosecutors asked the court to impose bail for the suspects, but the judge released them without bail. I spoke with Patrick Henry, the president of the the NYPD's largest union. We need everyone to do their job. Our criminal justice system is broken at every single step. If you assault a New York City police officer, you need to be held accountable. The court's communications director issuing this response. Release determinations made after reviewing the facts and circumstances of a case are about assuring that the accused return to court. On Saturday, Lieutenant Gypsy Pichardo was responding to a subway conductor's call for help in the Bronx when two suspects brutally beat the officer. We need the support of the people of the city of New York. We're asking you, please stand up for our police officers. Enough is enough. And now the NYPD is facing a hiring freeze in a department that union leaders say is already understaffed and stretched to the breaking point with a record number of officers retiring. We have a crisis in this city. We do not have enough police officers. Linda Schmidt, Fox 5 News. Of course you don't have enough cops. They don't want to work there no more. I'm, they said a lot of cops retiring because they done. Give them my pension. I'm done. This shit is the wild, wild east, not the wild, wild west, and they wilding out in the Bronx. They slicing police. They beating on them. Shit is out of hand, boy. It's got them city. You know, but I'm going to say this. You can't blame nobody. That's how it is. The judges are letting everybody go. Motherfuckers pushing ladies on the subway, on the tracks. Guess what? They out to do it again. Judges ain't doing shit, so you can't be mad. It's all about the justice system is fucked up. And hey, it is what it is, man. Now the cops feeling what the civilians been feeling for the last few years when they getting constantly hurt, constantly hurt. Old ladies getting hurt and these motherfuckers right out talking about some mental health bullshit. Well, I'll tell you this. Now you see what we're talking about? Now the police getting their ass whooped and cut up and now, now that you need help, you're short on officers, you're short on this, you're short on that. Nobody wants to be a police. In these days and times, forget about it. For, and plus, most of the cops are just on their phone anyway. That They ain't even looking out f for nothing. Nine times out of ten, when I'm in the subway, I see the cops. They're all on their fucking phones, looking down. They ain't about to save your life. You about to get saved <laughs> by a civilian before you get saved by a cop. And that's not going to happen either, because... Everybody want to mind their business and not jump in because they don't know if the dude is hurting you. If you say, son, he, he going to hurt you too. So that's how it's going. But yeah, the BX is going wild right now. They they 
They ain't taking no shit from no cops, and they acting like they just regular motherfuckers and beating them up. Stop smoking weed, what? Whooped his ass? Psh, and that's on the two train. I think that's either Freeman or Simpson. I'm not sure, but it's one of those stops. I know that subway. I've been there plenty of times, but I'm not sure which one it is. But that's the two train for sure. The other one was on the one line when the cop got slashed. And his partner didn't even back him up. His partner was scared to death because most of these motherfuckers is little kids. 22, 23, they don't come from the hood like that. And they get thrown in the hood to try to police the hood. And they scared to death. They ain't finna save nobody life or fucking help nobody. So you're going to have to just live with what you're living with. And it's Gotham City, baby. Gotham City. Christ 17 TV. And that is... My city, but it's it's going crazy right now. Gotham's going crazy. Only on Christ 17 TV you get Gotham City. Well, I'm just going to say this. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Comment down below. And if you and the ex, don't expect the police to save your ass because they can't even say their own motherfucking ass right about now. <laughs> I never thought I would see the day. Where the police is scared to death. Because they be the ones always trying to beat on somebody. Be extra rough with everybody. You should have seen way back in the day all the shit I seen. It's crazy. Police brutality was an all time high. I know plenty of motherfuckers that got beat on by the cops. Now people beating on the cops. Wow. How shit has come full circle nowadays. Like I said, man, it's Gotham City, and you better get Batman because you're going to need him. Because the police can't stop what's going on there. They're short-handed. A lot of the cops are retiring, and nobody wants to become no cop no more. It's a, it's a job that you could lose your life any day, and they're not getting paid a lot. Cops don't get paid a whole bunch of dough. They got to put in overtime shifts. And the longer they work, the more chance that something's going to happen to their ass. Because people don't like cops and they don't care no more. Because they ain't going to jail for no long time. They're getting right out. So why not fight with the cop like you fight with somebody else? That's how it's going. That's what it is. You better get the red phone, Commissioner Gordon... And call Batman, because you're going to need him, because this is Gotham City, and shit is getting ill, my man. With that being said, man, it's Christ 17 TV about this time, you know what I'm saying? I have to catch you on the flip side, player. Good night, and God bless.